Hey, so I'm gonna show you how to install Ocarina Time JP from scratch. Like if you just have a fresh Wii or we haven't hacked before and we're gonna go from that to installing OOT JP really quickly. So um, what you're gonna do is go to please.hackme.com for installing uh, Homebrew. It's fairly simple. Um, I'll, there's a link in the description, just go there. And then you have to enter your Mac address. And to do that, you go to, um, if I can find my cursor here, that'd be cool. So you go to uh, Wii settings. <laughs> Takes a while to load here. Internet. Uh, console information. And then that's your Mac address. Just uh, yeah, enter that. Now after you've entered your Mac address, uh, select your system menu version, uh, three point or 4.3 U, E, J, or K. I assume most of you are gonna use U, so just select that. Um, I'm not a robot, of course. Uh, <laughs> cut either of the wires, it doesn't matter. And then uh, you've downloaded your file. Okay, so once you have your letterbomb.zip file open and downloaded, uh, just insert your SD card. Um, I know a lot of tutorials say that it needs to be 2 gigabyte capacity, but that <laughs> that's not true at all. I mean, I use 16 gigabyte. I know people who use 32 and 64 gigabyte for this mod, so whatever, just use it. Um, but you do have to format it to uh, FAT32, just do a quick format. Now open it, and I have an empty folder. Uh, just copy all these files in there. Easy, all right. Now you can eject it, and then put it into your Wii. All right, so now just take your SD card uh, from your computer, put it into your Wii. Let's see, it's put in there now. Um, go to your message board and then you have to might scroll forward and backwards to find it for me it's just one backwards but then you uh, click this and then some uh, sketchy looking stuff will happen but it's fine um, this takes forever I'll speed this part up right here alright so just press one once it's taken like 20 years to pop up um, yeah, just press A to continue. Uh, if you want to install Boot Me, you can, but for the this tutorial, we're just going to install the Homebrew channel. Yes, continue. Continue. And then we're going to exit. Now, Homebrew, really important app. There you go. It's empty right now. So uh, let's go back to the computer for a second. All right, so all you need to do on the computer is download this Homebrew stuff pack that's in the description. Um, open it and then put apps and wad into your folder. Now the wad is just uh, the Ocarina Time JP file that you need and then the apps is um, uh, Pimp My Wii which will is a wad manager and it's going to give you the files you need and then start patch. These two items start patch will region for your Wii. So now just uh, eject your, your SD card. Alright, so put your SD card in your Wii and then go to the Humber channel. Also make sure you're connected to the internet, it will make this process much easier. Uh, for Pimp My Wii. Go to Pimp My Wii. Wait for it to load. Now you just want to go to Hack Your Wii slash Minimal Installation. And um... You're going to want to do a network installation. It's just going to get all the files online. I'm going to skip this part where it tests stuff. Alright, so after it's done testing stuff, just do plus on your Wiimote to do a network installation. And after that, all you have to do is press A through the entire rest of the installation. But it does take a long time, so I'm not going to go through that part. But you just press A. Just keep pressing A like this. And then it's going to do all that. You might get some uh, failed errors, but that's fine. So once you're done with Pimp My Wii, just uh, press exit. And then we're going to install Start Patch. Now, for Start Patch, you cannot have Preloader installed. So if you happen to have your Wii already soft modded and it had that installed, you have to uninstall it. Or you can just use that for loading games, and it'll load games region free. So JPOT will load. Now you want to go to 222 iOS. 
press A to continue. Now I'll press A to continue. Uh, risk the screen. Yeah, just read that. Now all we got to install is these region free things. So install this one, 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 and this one. Uh, click save. Now is your last chance to turn back. Press A to continue. Right in system menu. Done. Returning the launcher. Uh, now we're going to go back to pin my Wii for the WAD manager part. Now go to WAD. Uh, this doesn't really matter. We'll use 236, or 236, yeah. We SD, uh, yeah, we SD slot. Go to your WADS folder. Go to uh, Tokino Ocarina. Install WAD. This can take a little bit, so I'm going to skip this part. Alright, so once that's done, uh, press A to continue. Press B to uh, get out of here. And exit. Exit the system menu. And now our current time should be there. We'll load it up, make sure it works. Japanese version. There we go, we're loading, it's loading up the the screen where you need your classic controller, so you need a GameView controller or an adapter or your classic controller pro or something like that. I gotta actually plug it in. <laughs> there we go. And there we go, um, Ocarina Time JP. There you go. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer them as best as I can.